sure don't look it. I can't let you on. Hey, hey, we're chill. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. in your lives following us around like dogs. What crawled up your ass? Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. Offer you one piece of advice for old time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future. Done yet. We still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. <laughs>
Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. Defense on All set. Now get out of there. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Ugh. Hey, Gramps. I know you. Hazusi. Çoksetsiz hanaşıyorsun. died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you ピック。It's been over 50 years since the city was rocked by the nuking of the Arasaka Towers, but we still don't really know what happened there. Or do we? We're going to be separating the lies from the truth, or at least giving it a damn good try. If you listen to the street, as you should, they said old Johnny Silverhand finally took his final revenge on Arasaka. He got together with some of his edge runner compatriots and gave Saburo a middle finger so bright he could be seen all the way back to Japan. And where did he get the bomb? You can't exactly buy a pocket nuke at the local gun store, even in Night City. But the people who back this story say he picked it up from the nomads, who in turn stole it from Militech. Well, we know dear old Johnny led the attack, and I'm pretty sure he saw his revenge. Lord knows he had enough reason to want revenge on Arasaka, but the truth is he didn't come up with a plan and he didn't bring in the nuke. The rest? Well, Johnny, if you're out there, why don't you tell us?
than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai hao mei tsukemashita. Kono otoko de machigai arimasen. Hai. Help me. Quiet. Attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? Uh, I know. Someone. We must get to Reaper Doc. 
quickly. Hector will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoteric. In front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the sockets. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Vic, ears are ringing, and I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations, describe them to me. Blinding lights, it's loud. I'm on stage, and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic, and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh, I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. The Night City looked different, strange, and I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who, Vic? <laughs> Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. You've never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? 
The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I have to die. I am going to die. That's what you're saying. Prove it. Hmm. Dex shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short-circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. Empty vessel? But I'm right here. All of this is me! The shard doesn't read, it writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, and doing away with the old. From where the shard's sitting, you, what's left, it's all a tumor that needs to be excised. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean... I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? I ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm?
promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself! No, wait! See you never, asshole. Not like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touching. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Oh, fuck me. Takebura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, 
You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Sorry Ooh. I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Let you it go, heard Takamura. Me. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. 
That Parker woman will not help you. What are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's oh, still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. No, you're feeding me scum. Me? That you? Shit. I thought you were gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. I thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Listen, need to find out. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I'd want to? When we meet. Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh, yeah, we fucking are. You 
just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. She commissioned the heist, not me. No, you're the one who fucked it up. You weren't there. You don't know Jack. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me, albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it. And once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? I see it only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half brain dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, she finally say anything useful? 
Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure, you never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. The payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. You won't find any use for weapons inside. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Okay then. V. Welp, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Power before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. 
Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone, too. Except, won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared, because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me. I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through... Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. It wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. So what now? Now... You find out what it is you need to do. Which is... You're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do. Afterlife.